Hey guys, Tom here with another how-to video. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a batch file and some very basic batch file commands. So the question is, what is a batch file exactly? Well, a batch file is simply a list of commands that you would normally type into command prompt. For example, we could open command prompt just typing cmd there's a bunch of files, that, a bunch of commands that we can type in. Uh, a very simple command is to make a directory. Now, for a GUI like your desktop, you call these folders literally folders. For a in the command prompt side of things, you call those directories. So what we want to do is we can list all the directories that are in our current, what our current file space points to by typing dir here's a list of all the directories under the C users Tom. Now we can create a directory by typing make directory space and then simply the name of the directory. So if we wanted the name of the directory to be test1, we just type md space test1, press enter. Now we can list the directories and sure enough we see test1 listed in the directories. So now that we created test1, let's go ahead and remove it. In order to remove the directory, it's just rd space to the name of the directory. So we'll type in test1. Press enter. And then the directory is removed. We can type dir enter and see that test1 is now gone. So now you've got an idea of what the command prompt commands look like. So let's go ahead and make batch file. In order to make a batch file, you want to right click, go to new, then we can scroll down here to text document, select that, and go ahead and give it a name. We're going to call this batch test1. And then press enter. Now let's go ahead and open batch test1. And if you want to, go to file, save as. Now where batch test1 is, we're going to type dot .bat. This is going to give this file a new file extension. Hit save. And now, sure enough, on our desktop, we have batch test1. You'll notice the icon has changed to these gears. Hovering the cursor over it, we see the type is a Windows batch file. You can also go to right-click properties and see the type of file is a Windows batch file with the extension .bat. Now we've created your first. Now you've created your first batch file. However, there's no commands within the batch file, so this batch file won't even run. It says that it's an invalid and it's not a valid application. So what we want to do is go ahead and put some so put some commands within the batch file. So go ahead and right-click the batch file and you'll see Edit. And Edit will automatically open Notepad. This is really nice. That way you don't have to keep on modifying a text document, saving it as a batch file over and over again. You can just right click and edit it. So let's go ahead and type some commands in. The first command we're going to type is at echo space off. What at echo off does is actually turn off what you would normally see in the command prompt. Without that, the command prompt would pop up and you would see the commands being put into the command prompt. At echo off just turns those commands off turns off that display. So let's go ahead and type in md to make a directory space we'll just call it test1 you hit enter md space test2 enter md space now let's try something else and type in test space 3 enter that's good for right now let's just go ahead and file save so now we've modified the batch file so let's go ahead and run the batch file and see what happens. Now wait a minute. Our batch file just created four directories, not three. Also, you'll notice that the batch file created the directories within this directory being the desktop. Did not create it in C users Tom. I can go to computer C users Tom and we won't see these listed. The batch file automatically created those directories within the desktop directory since we did not specify directory within the batch file. 
it just simply created those directories wherever the batch file was ran from. You'll also notice that there's four instead of three. We can go ahead and right click and edit the batch file and see that we have md space test space three. Now what the command prompt interpreted this as is instead of creating a make directory just called test space three, we wanted this to make two directories, one called test, one called three. So first of all, we'll just go ahead and delete these old directories. Just select those all, right click and delete. So let's recycle bin. So what if you wanted a space within the directory name? Well, it's really quite easy. All we're going to do is place a quote before the name before the name of the directory and then at the end of the name of the directory, file, save. And then this sh should create a single directory called test3. We'll go ahead and run it. And sure enough, there they are, all three directories with test3 with a space in it. We'll go ahead and do one more command. What if we wanted us, us to create those directories and then automatically open the directories? There's an easy command called start space test one. So we'll go ahead and save this, exit, let's run it. Sure enough, it created the three directories. Since the three directories were already created, it just left those three directories, but it also automatically opened the test1 directory. So, in this video you've learned how to create your first batch file, you've also learned the make directory command, as well as the start command to open directories. You also learned the difference between a file name without a space and how to create file names with a space using the quotes. You've also learned about the echo command, how to turn off the, from seeing the commands pop up in the command prompt. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.